Hi there, this is the last part of this tutorial lesson where we're gonna um, create the template to output the film category and uh, the single film. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna continue where we uh, stopped the last time. So without wasting time, let's begin. And now in our code editor, let's create inside the team folder the template to output um, our film category remember the last time when we created the custom post type okay so we name the custom taxonomy that is our custom category kateg so we're gonna need this name copy kateg okay and to create our template okay no file and this will be taxonomy taxonomy okay like so kateg because kateg is our custom um taxonomy okay that php okay and now let's call header and footer okay get okay sorry get header and let's copy this okay and get footer like so as i told you before i have already the html part ready and i'm gonna paste the html part here and from now let's create the logic to output the category i mean all the posts that belong to a category to continue, let's open and close PHP. We're gonna build our custom query to output uh, all the posts that belong to our custom category. I mean, the taxonomy. Okay, to do so, let's create a variable named args. Okay, and args will be an array. Okay. And uh, our custom post type is, I mean, remember, is film okay and uh to query our uh, database um to output our custom uh taxonomy we're gonna need the tax query tax underscore query okay tax um query is a uh, is an array of arrays okay i'm gonna explain you in a while um array it's because you could add uh, i mean other uh, other arrays i mean other query okay um our custom taxonomy is taxonomy um here we're gonna need taxonomy uh taxonomy and our custom taxonomy is um remember catech okay so and um, here we're gonna need uh, uh, the field, okay? Our field will be, I mean, term underscore ID, okay? Oh, sorry, I forget to add, okay? Will be term ID. And uh, we're gonna need the terms and the terms you're gonna add an array i'm gonna tell you why array of um create a variable name term term underscore id i mean we're gonna create i mean this variable i mean if you have dub taxonomy kateg remember the last time our custom taxonomy was kateg and our custom post type was fill okay and that's it and to create this term id i mean i've told you that you could add uh, other you could add other arrays because tax query is an array of arrays okay and uh, to create uh, this variable because we're gonna need the id to get the id okay to get the id let's create this variable term id okay term id we're gonna use get 
queried get queried object okay get queried object we're gonna look to retrieve the term underscore id so remember the last time i showed you okay uh this term id okay so almost there so and from now let's continue we have already created our custom query and now let's create our loop to output uh, i mean all the ports that belong to our category and from now let's instantiate your wp query okay and let's pass the argument of args okay and now if I have post okay remember okay give have post but we need this put here okay because this is how to modify a custom query okay if have post okay and uh, I will put this here so before if you want I could put okay and while okay while have underscore while have post we're gonna still need our custom query okay and the post it is a custom query we're gonna need this here okay and from there okay sorry php and we're gonna move okay move the html here okay so that's it guys and uh, from now let's uh let's put the title because we're gonna test in a while to see if everything was done properly and here what you wanna do okay the permalink okay that's it guys and from now guys let's give a try to see if everything was properly done and uh, in our team let's reload this page okay let's reload okay and let's click in this category action okay as you can see uh i'm gonna put some space here but you see uh action last war let's go back or war as you can see guys the bad night night of our okay our the category our and uh, our last women's okay as you can see love again so everything is okay so i'm gonna uh put i mean some html some css i mean to give some space but um our job was properly done okay let's go add some space here let's go back to our code editor to do so okay so before creating some space uh, let's output um the the title uh i mean our custom category name and to do so i'm gonna need this variable name um tax okay and tax we're gonna need uh, uh the variable wp underscore query okay like so to look inside the get queried object okay and uh, like so and from now let's echo okay let's echo um i mean h1 okay and uh, here we're gonna concatenate with uh our taxonomy i um, mean this variable sorry let's copy better tax we're gonna look to find the name okay 
and concatenate with this so h1 okay close the tag and like so okay and um, i think that's it from now let's give a try let's go to the front end of our site okay and let's give a try guys okay as you can see this is the category of women's okay as you can see in the url uh women's okay and if you get back our okay our and you see category our and this has two posts and uh the category women's i've already showed you women's and that's it guys it means one piece that is our single um our single uh template okay you see this is blank it's because we have to create it and let's go to finish uh this part okay before creating the template to output uh, our single film um a small detail uh, if you want you could add um i mean the post i mean the id of the post okay like so post dash okay and here you will output the id so like so guys okay so from now let's create the template um the file this will be single remember uh remember the template to output the single post is single.php but when we have a custom post type we have to uh do like so single dash i mean uh our custom post type is film single film dot php like so okay guys and uh so if you have dubs you can check the documentation okay and let's um get header and footer get header okay like so and get footer okay so as i already told you uh in this line okay better okay almost on space okay like i have already told you i have already the html ready okay and we paste the code let's indent like so uh, okay so this is bootstrap guys so we have one row and two column okay and uh, here will be the title and here will be the title and the excerpt and here will be the uh, our custom image and um okay that's it guys and um uh, to do so let's open and close php and we're gonna say why have post and the post okay and now let's close php and open it here okay we're gonna cut this part okay and put it in between here and from now uh let's output the title okay like so and this in this part let's copy the HTML tag we're gonna output the excerpt okay and for our custom image what you wanna do open and close PHP uh, this will be the post uh, thumbnail URL okay like so guys so if you have a custom size for your image you could add it like so but I don't have I will leave it blank okay and uh, like so and save 
so for SEO purpose in the alt tag you add the title and save guys and from now let's give a try in our front end guys so we go back in our site okay and let's reload love again uh, we have a small error so we're gonna check this but as you can see love again we have the title we have the the excerpt and we have the custom image and now let's check let's go back to our code editor to see uh this error what it says uh on line uh 25. okay guys i see the mistakes so some of you might see that okay before so it is get footer okay why i don't get this in this video is because i want to show you even we master what we are doing uh as programmer we always make mistakes and this is the part of programming so i leave it to show you um how to troubleshoot okay i could remove this in this video so i showed you to know that we can make mistakes and you have to know also how to troubleshoot uh, when you have mistakes where to find your mistakes okay so that's it guys and let's save and let's go to i um, mean uh, the front end of our site let's give it a try and uh, okay so you see everything is okay and uh, if you go on the let, let's go in the hour category and you click on the night of hour okay as you can see and you see the title the i mean uh, the ed excerpt and the custom image guys so um if you like this video please leave a thumbs up um if you have question don't forget to drop your question below and uh please subscribe and share this channel so that this could encourage me to do more video and uh hope to see you in the next video and from now bye bye